Alrighty guys, welcome back. So today guys, we're currently out here in this random parking lot I just found and we have some off-road trails to go ahead and test out and they're actually a little bit muddy today. We did get some rain, we got a little bit of snow but it actually melted off. Today's actually not that bad out. I mean the sun's out and the snow's a little bit melted along with the rain we got. Uh, we had like frozen rain with some snow and it's already melted off so we have some mud on these trails and some rocky off-road trails to go ahead and explore today. Now we're actually not going to be using this old cat eye here, the, uh, the LBZ Duramax here that we built a little while back so we're not going to be using this truck here today uh, with the custom four link off-road suspension and everything. I don't know if you guys can really see that under there. But yeah, and this thing's got some beefy axles under it. So, so yeah, this would be the truck to do it in. But today, we're actually going to be doing the off-roading in this uh, a little bit smaller. I mean, I, I guess the lift is a little bit taller, I guess you could say. I mean, yeah, they are. And this one actually seems just a little bit taller than this one. Yeah, okay. And this one's an 8-inch lift, so it's pretty crazy. This one might be a 10 or something. I don't know. But yeah, I picked this up a few hours ago. Alright, so I still got the trailer with me uh, with that Duramax. Uh, but today, I went ahead and picked up a cammed 5.3. Alright, and this is, this is it here. Spray painted black. It's got the tow mirrors on it. Got those dinky little axles running 37s. Or no, these are 38s actually. Yeah, running 38s on these dinky little axles. Got these tiny leaf springs holding this thing up. I think we'll probably break something while off road today. Uh, the motor's at 320,000 miles. The kid said if I take it off-roading, I might blow it up. But hey, I got it really cheap. So the hope is, and these are just really cheap moto metals. I don't know, I'll probably still salvage them when the motor blows. But yeah, the plan is I'll just take the tow mirrors off. I'll just strip it completely. The LED light bars, I got like the exact same light bars on my cat eye over there. If we don't blow it up, I'll probably just engine swap it. Well, no, I mean, if we do blow it, blow it up. But, you know, it's got a nice toolbox in the back, and uh, he did a bumper delete. I don't know if he hit something in it or whatnot, but let's go ahead and hop in this puppy. It collapsed. I mean, it's loud. It's really loud. It's Camp 5.3, full straight pipe. But, hey, at least it's not squatted, so that's good. Yeah, let's just go ahead. Oh, yeah, this thing is uh, a little loud. Let's just go ahead and take it down this trail first then we'll hit the rocks with it i'm not trying to break the suspension quite yet we'll try it in rear wheel drive first oh my gosh this suspension rides terrible after riding in the lbz for so long i mean like i mean four link suspension custom four links are just a whole nother level than like these just little block lifts and stuff or bigger leaf springs in the front and then i don't know they might be bigger leaf springs in the back but Mainly it's block lifts in the rear and bigger leaf springs in the front. I tell you what, custom four links are like just so much better. And these tires are not very grippy at all. And you know, you can't hate on this build. Like it's it's pretty nice. I mean this kid probably had one of the nicest builds in the high school parking lot because this kid was only like 17. I don't know if it was his first build or whatnot. That's why I don't really want to destroy it completely. But he just told me... Hey man, the engine's about to blow, so you know, just do what you want with it. So I guess I'm gonna do what I want with it. Uh, I don't know, should I put it in four-wheel drive already? I don't even know if the four-wheel drive works. But let's just hit it in the four-wheel drive here. All right, okay, yeah, I'd say it works, yeah. Oh man, we are, I'm beating the crap out of my back. I'm gonna need to see a chiropractor after this, man. I should've worn earplugs for this, uh, for driving this thing today. Man. Oh gosh. Kind of beating up the front end a little bit, but that's all right. Ooh, that was a bad bust right into the grill. Dang, we are bouncing this thing around and redlining the engine, man. I don't. I mean, this thing is shooting a lot of flames. I'm surprised it's not burning oil out the tailpipe by the second. I mean, it probably will soon. We've probably cracked a lot of stuff. This, this, this suspension and this overall body and frame on this thing is not suitable for for what we're doing. But hey, I mean, it's doing it. Come on. Well, I need to put it in low. I don't know. Should I put it in four low? I might have to put it in four low because I'm not stopping here. All right, four low. Diff lock on. Let's get up here. Heck yeah, dude! Shooting flames and a little bit of oil. This thing is gnarly, dude. Once you actually like use it, I bet this kid. I don't know how long he's owned it. I don't know this dude. I just know he was selling this thing for really cheap on marketplace. Anyways, I bet this kid never had the opportunity to do this. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, 
but this thing's about to be beat after this one off-roading session so that's probably why he didn't but i know this kid definitely took it mudding because what kid wouldn't take their jacked up cat eye mudding gas engine or not it's a four-wheel drive oh my this thing is running rough i mean it's barely for this cammed 5.3 oh there we go we're spinning it's almost like we're moving in low gear, but hang on, let's actually put it in low gear. Oh my gosh, we're about, to, we're about to explode this engine. We're about to grenade this engine. Send it to the moon. Oh my. Come on. I know it's a little bit harder than this to blow up 5.3s. Come on now. Oh my gosh, I've been redlining this thing for like minutes straight. Flames are coming out the exhaust. Come on. Get just a little bit more. Ah, and I'm not shooting flames anymore because we're underwater. Are we out yet? Oh, and we're out. That was fun right there. Man, I liked that. I could hit these trails for hours. I don't know if I'll be able to get this thing back if I go much farther. I just remembered that. I'm not too sure if I'll be able to get this thing back. If I get it stuck out here or it breaks down on me. I don't know. We are going a little bit far. But hey, it'll be all right. Oh, my. We are taking this thing deep. The engine is underwater. I don't want to hydrolock it. I'm going to back it on up now. Oh, it's running rough. Alright, I think I'm going to turn around and get headed back, guys. But that's going to wrap it up for today's video and the good old 5.3 cat eye here. Man, we got this thing a little bit beat and muddy. But hey, you know, I bought this thing really cheap. Picked it up a couple hours ago. And I took it straight to the mud hole. It didn't even get to the house first. Oh, man, I hope I don't blow it up out here through this mud hole. But yeah, it didn't even make it back to the house first. I just took it straight here and... I knew what I was going to make this video on today. Since I picked this thing up so cheap, took it straight to the mud hole and the off-roading section, right? So, I brought it to the trails, and we hit those trails today. Oh no, the 5.3 didn't do too bad. I'm surprised it hasn't blown yet. 320,000 miles on a dang 5.3. Man, it should have grenaded minutes ago. But, heck, maybe it will up here. We still got some more mud to go. But yeah, guys, I think that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new and, and you haven't already. And thanks for watching. And with that, catch you guys very, very soon in the next one.